LTE 2017, technology forever changing. Once again, you're doing a presentation to the people here. Just tell us a little bit about some of the content of that. Uh, it's, a, it's about a journey, actually, that started about two years ago. Um, we realized that usage was low on the system, even though people said they liked it. We sort of looked at the MI and realized, really, this position wasn't sustainable. So really the story today is about that journey. It's about how we went from having a very basic, old-fashioned type of product to something that now we're really quite proud of. Um, we've trebled usage in just over a year, so we're quite happy with where we are, although we know that we need to move on as well. When you look at some of the people that will be in that room today, what are some of the things they'll be able to learn about your industry and, and, and the things and stuff that's changed recently? I think from an industry perspective, I guess is most of them aren't that different. We still have the same challenges. And you know, the challenges for us were around building something that was new. So it's about getting your own hands dirty. Don't just trust research. You have to do a little bit more yourself. Um, it's very much about the content. If you forget about the content, you are looking at trouble uh, later down the line because this is where you source all your data from and everything else. So that's, that, that's quite important. Um, other elements really are around navigation of the system. Um, it's making sure that things are intuitive, ask other people who are fresh, have fresh eyes. Um, it's like being in a forest, you know, when you first drop in, you get completely lost, but soon you find the path and then everything, everything's wonderful. So I think there's an awful lot I think they may sort of look at and say, yeah, that could be us. How much has the CII changed their learning strategy over the last 12 months? Well, if we look at Broker Assess, which is a little bit different to the CII really, I mean, for us, I mean, twofold. One is, um, we are about income, of course, but we left that one side and we concentrated on usage. And guess what? You know, by concentrating on usage, we've driven income. So the strategy for us moving forward is to make sure that we adapt and we give the learner what they're expecting. Um, they're obviously getting younger, um, so technology is a key part of that. When you look at Unicorn's part in mm -hmm. the change, and, and as you've touched upon the uptake in, in learning, mm -hmm. how big a player have they been with you to, to make a difference? In all honesty, um, and I'm not just saying this because you're interviewing me, um, I couldn't have done it without them. I mean, the one element I always think with Unicorn is they're not suppliers, uh, they're partners. Um, and, you know, I have to sell almost the idea to them. I'm asking them to change the way their system works. So it's not all about me and about giving them money, it's about actually a joint effort. And I think we work really, really well together. So without them, this, this, this wouldn't have been possible. It must be so great for you to have a, a partner, as you say, in Unicorn that is mm. so flexible in, mm -hmm. in terms of adapting to what mm -hmm. you need. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, I get on with the people very well. I've known them for quite a long time. And when we decided to go with Unicorn as our platform provider, those things were key to me. Could I actually work with these people? Um, I know with some people they say, ah, oh, they're just suppliers. But if you take that attitude, you get little back. I mean, I think both Unicorn and the CRI have similar, you know, sort of targets and ambitions, and we just work well together. When you look at this event as a whole, it really is incredible, and year upon year it gets bigger and bigger here at Olympia mm -hmm. Learning Technologies. What have you made to the last couple of days? It's great. I mean, you do hear a lot of the same old things, I must say, but I mean, I think here you have to be sensible about your objectives. You know what, if I walked away with one new idea, that's great. If I get two or three, that's brilliant. Um, and this year, you know, I've had at least one really, really good idea, and it's not over yet. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great place to meet people of like minds. And when you look at this industry, it is such a fast-paced one. Mm -hmm. What excites you for the future? I think the fact is there's always something new. I mean, there's something for, dare I say this, the future future, things that are almost like you can't reach yet. And then there's things that are really reachable. They're not far away. Um, for me, doing the job I do, I need to be about 12 to 18 months ahead of where I am. So this is absolutely perfect. And when you look forward, there obviously is an exciting future. There's, there's so much to, mm. to come for this particular industry. Mm. And working alongside Unicorn, it, it can be exciting, can't it? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they recently acquired a company called Amuso, which is a gamification company. I'm working with them at the moment, um, producing apps and games and so forth. So, yeah, so we're still keeping the old LMS, or did I say the new LMS, um, and also we're looking at the gamification things and so forth as well, so there's a lot on the horizon.